What is up guys, Simon from PianoPig.com and in this week's video I'm going to be breaking down a Neo Soul progression, taking you through each step and hopefully by the end of it you'll have something you can go and jam with your friends, make some music out of it or just have some inspiration to write some new stuff. Now this particular progression that we're going to be learning today is actually from a recent beat I made and posted on Instagram. A bunch of you guys asked me to make a lesson on it so here we are. Here's a quick 20 second clip from that video, just so you know what it is we're about to learn. And if you'd like to download the notation for this progression as well with an easy version and a more advanced version, you can get that for free via the link below. Let's get into it. Okay, so we start off with a G7 sus, which we're gonna play like this. Our next chord is an A minor 11, which we're going to play like this. And the melody during these first two chords is this. And that fits quite nicely over our voicings. So that's what we've got so far. After which, we have this cool little run-up. So I'm just thinking A minor pentatonic here. But starting on the 7, both hands together. And then we land here, on this D minor 9. So from the top, this is what we have so far. And from here, we have this sort of three chord sequence. It starts with this D minor 9, and then we go to an E major, where we literally just play these three notes finally landing on an F major 7. And again, only playing three notes. Really minimalistic. And when I wrote this, I thought it actually sounded better holding that top note, E. It's acting as a cover note, which just means it's the same note over all three of those voicings. So rather than playing that E over every voicing, I think it sounds better, in the context of this progression at least, like this. If it's a bit tricky holding that note down with your pinky whilst playing the voicings, then feel free to just play it like this instead. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Holding E over all the chords? Or playing it with each voicing? I'd love to know. So from the top, this is what we have so far. That's the first time around the sequence. We're going to loop back around, but with a slight variation the second time. This is what it's going to sound like. So what was I doing there? Well, we started off the same, but then instead of playing that three chord sequence, we're actually going to head off in a completely different direction and play a C sharp 7 altered voicing, which looks like this. We've got a C sharp root in the left hand, and in the right hand we have the 3, 7, and sharp 9. 
and personally I quite like to roll on to this 7. So from the top of the second time around, and there's another really important thing happening there, the melody. If I isolate the melody, this is what it's actually doing. You know? I'm not just doing this. I'm not just landing on this chord. I'm doing this instead. It creates a more stable melody and just connects everything together. And to finish off, we're going to land on this D major 9. Just a bog standard 3, 5, 7, 9 voicing. But again, I quite like adding a bit of melody in there. So instead of just doing this, we could play it like this instead. Very subtle difference, but it's those subtleties that can make or break a progression like this. So from the top of the second time around, this is what we've got. So definitely spend the time getting those little melodies in there. It will make the world of difference. So all together, this is what we have. Nice and slow. To finish off, I'm going to play along to the track I made so you can hear it in context. I might add a few extra things here and there, feel free to steal whatever you want. And there you have it. As I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like the notation of this progression written out for you as a PDF, that is now available inside my YouTube vault, which you can access completely free. Link is in the description below or somewhere up here. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.